Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be talking about a book. This one. The Programming Games for the Atari 2600. Um, now this book is fairly new. I just picked it up. I think it's fairly new. I, I know he, he started advertising it. It's made by Os Oscar Toledo G. Um, and if you think this book looks familiar, it's because he did other books like Programming Games for the Intellivision which I did a video on a while ago when I bought this book, probably over a year ago. And uh, he had a follow-up book uh, for this one called The Advanced Game Programming for Intellivision. Now, when this one came, when, when I saw this one, uh, like he, he advertised it on his Facebook page. And at that time, I was really getting the itch to want to start programming. Now, my, my background is I started off programming on, on the Commodore 64 when I was a kid. Now, back then, it was obviously just me dabbling around, trying different things, trying to understand it, um, you know, trying to understand basic programming. And um, at that time, uh, I, I didn't, I really just did tiny little programs here and there. I wasn't able to, like, create a full working game. And then, uh, you know, I, I copied them out of books, which, you know, a lot of magazines and stuff had the code in there and you could type it all in and get a game. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean you knew what the heck was going on when you were looking at that code. And then later on in school, I uh, ended up taking basic programming in high school. Uh, again, you know, it's basic programming. And then in college, I, I uh, was doing some uh, work in uh, Flash and Director, which has a programming language which is pretty much similar to basic. And I learned a little bit more. I, I, I understood more. So when, when I saw the... Uh, this book, the Intellivision programming book, um, you know, I was kind of uh, piqued. But at the beginning there, I wanted to actually learn how to program on the Atari. That was my first thought. Um, you know, I, I was thinking, I want to learn how to make games on the Atari. And uh, at the time, there was, uh, you know, uh, th there was tutorials on, on Atari Basic, which is a basic language. Um, and I thought, you know, I'll, maybe I'll start off learning that. But then I saw this book. And I reached out to Oscar Toledo G, and I said, how hard, you know, is it to understand the, the programming language? Because I don't know, will, will I be able to understand it? And uh, I, I told him that I have a, a background in, in basic programming, like QBasic and stuff like that. And he said, if you understand that, you'll understand this. And so I, I decided to take a stab at this. And, you know, I've been having fun doing this. I've, I've actually released two games already for the Intellivision, which is Keystone Cops, is a conversion of the Keystone Capers game uh, from the Atari, and Fast Food, which is also an original Atari game. So I thought, hey, I've been programming now for a while on the Intellivision, and this book came out. Now the difference is, this is not programming in BASIC. Um, so I kind of had to hesitate a bit. I was like, I don't know, this is programming in assembly language. But from what I understand is this book is going to help run through the processes of, you know, how it works. And, you know, if, if anything, even if I don't understand the, the, the programming language itself, there is a lot of tips and techniques in here on making the games themselves. Um, you know, it's not basic. Because, you know, with basic, there's a lot of resources. Like, I had stuff like this, the big blue basic book. This is for uh, programming on the IBM PC, but I mean, a lot of basic is the same. It's, it's, it's a big book. It's a lot of, you know, it's the same kind of concept. You just kind of have to learn a little bit of, of you know, the, uh, you know, how, how the language itself. But I mean, the, the concept, the process of programming. And so with this book, this is what I'm hoping it's going to do for me. It's going to help me learn a little bit more of, you know, programming on a machine. Now, this is going to be my first attempt at making an Atari game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go this direction and do the assembly language. But I've noticed, like, in here, he's got a lot of stuff on how to make games like Space Invaders. Um, there was... Uh, he, and he starts off slow. It looks like he... It's just like in the Intellivision book. He starts off slow. See, and there's a... If you can see that, that's like a, the um, breakout, breakout, whatever you want to call it. we got the paddle at the bottom, and then you break the things out there. So he runs through that concept. And a lot of these concepts, once you learn how to make these types of games, see there's a Space Invaders type of game. Once you learn these basics, um, you can start applying that to, to start making your own games. I even saw it here, actually. 
Just gonna flip to the page here. Diamond craze. Looks like a like a Pac-Man style game. So all the original classic arcade style games, he's kind of runs through it. And the way he writes his books, he ba he basically starts off showing you a, a snippet of code. Or f well, first he explains the game he's gonna create, introduces some new um, techniques you're gonna learn, maybe some new coding you're gonna learn. Then he gives you a snippet of code, and then you can actually go and type it all in and see what you get in the, the uh, compiler. And then he advances on there to eventually complete the whole game. And there's where you can learn. So if you're, you know, it's pretty much the same as this method. And when I first got this book, that's exactly what I did. I started, I started on the first page and I worked my way through it to fully understand. Now, like much like this, you know, for this, I'm sure I, I'm going to be lost in the very beginning. I'll probably have to read through it a few times before things start to click. Most likely what I'm going to do is I'm also going to go on uh, some YouTube channels. I found another uh, YouTuber who does uh, assembly language for making games for the Atari. Uh, he goes by the name of 8-Bullet. Um, but So he's been giving out tutorials, which will also help. Uh, but it's great to have a resource like this. I still like to have physical stuff. And I've said this in my Intellivision book uh, video. I still like to have the physical stuff. Because when you're working away, it's easier to have a book in front of you and to, you know, open it up. And even if you're not working on your computer, to just have the book sitting there, if you got some time, you know, pick it up and just start sifting through it. And maybe things will click a little bit more. But anyways, yes, as I was saying, um, the YouTube videos will probably help as well. And the forums that's that's something that you know if you're going to be picking this up if you're going to be trying this out uh if you have zero background in any kind of programming whether it be basic or assembly language how to make games whatever i would suggest that you get on the atari age forum that's where i pretty much go all the time i go there for the intellivision programming i could not have made these games without the forum without the help of oscar and without the help of all the other programmers out there I mean, that's, it just, you know, because reading from a book can give you so much and, and you put it there on the screen and you might not understand what's going on. And then when you start to try and make your own games, you might still not know why, why certain things are wor not working, why you're getting an error, why you're, you know, a lot of uh, issues. So you grab that code, you throw it into the forum, into, you know, the programming forum and the people there are always welcome to uh, or very welcoming to you to actually help you figure out your problems now the other thing i want to mention about this book which is really cool is if you see there on the front it says forward by david crane now david crane if you are if you know atari and you're a, a retro gamer like me you probably know who he is but he's the guy who brought us games like pitfall and pitfall 2 and a lot of other great games he is probably one of the more popular programmers amongst the Atari 2600 group. Um, he also started um, Audacity Games. You can see right there by David Crane. Uh, this is a new Atari 2600 game that came out. Um, did a video on this one before. You might already know it, that it exists. But Audacity Games is kind of like the same idea as when he created... Um, Activision back in the day with a bunch of other programmers. Um, they didn't like the way things were running in, in, in Atari. And they decided to make their the first, I'm pretty sure it's the thir first third party uh, company to make Atari video games. So he actually did a foreword here. Um, I haven't read it yet. I just got this book in the mail yesterday. <laughs> Uh, so I've been, you know, I can't wait to break into it. But yeah, there's a foreword right there from David Crane, which is cool. You know, that just kind of gives you that little bit of uh, encouragement that uh, that is needed when you want to dive into something as complex as programming for older systems. Um, and that, and, and keep that in mind too. You are programming for an older system, but you have modern tools. Uh, we have stuff that the original programmers didn't have. Um, we have the, the computer processing power. We have the emulators. We have, you know, we don't have to worry about cartridge size, space, and all the other stuff. So we do have a little bit of an advantage 
over the original programmers. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because this is really cool. Um, I hope that I can actually understand some of it and make my first Atari game. That'll be really awesome because um, I've got a whole ton of Intellivision games that I've created and I'm still I'm still making them. I'm still working on a game right now. Uh, but I just thought it'd be fun to finally get my feet wet in something else. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think. Have you considered programming? Have you thought about it? Have you seen this book? It's really cool. I think it just is pretty much new. Uh, and you can get it on Amazon. You can get it. You just type it in. You'll find it. It's all over the place. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. And we'll talk to you later.